okay, this is my 2011 25 foot front bedroom Airstream Serenity. Um, I bought it last year and um, I love it. This is the outside. We are camping by the river and I'll show you just real quick. My power is a um, 2000 watt Renergy suitcase and it works pretty good. Could I use more solar? Yes. If I say 2000 watt, it's 200 watt. I could use more, but it does work pretty well. The thing that uses most of the power is the uh, furnace, when I'm running the furnace. I'll show you the batteries. Um, I've got two Battleborn um, 100 amp hour batteries. They do charge up really fast. Uh, you get all of those amp hours instead of half, like an AGM. So the 200 watt panel does work pretty darn well for almost all of my needs. The only time I really run out of power is if I'm running the furnace quite a bit. So the exterior has an awning. And here, up here I've got a Wilson uh, directional antenna for uh, to pick up to kind of boost the cell signal because down by the river I don't get very good signal. Let's go inside. So this is the inside of the Serenity. What I love about this model are all the windows. Just panoramic view. All the windows can open up. There's skylights. The dinette folds down and can turn into a bed and sleep too. The side couch pulls out. It can sleep another person or two kids. Up here I have the Wilson uh, booster up here. This is kind of just a mess of electronics up here. Um, but it does have a 12 volt plug in here. You could permanently install that, but I don't because I don't need it that much. This is the radio. There's speakers throughout and it plays DVDs. So you can watch those DVDs and hear surround sound on your Samsung TV. <laughs> uh, I'll show you this cabinet up here. I keep not much. My bag, a uh, speaker, <laughs> candles, not much. Let's see, here is, here's a table that pops out for extra counter space. This is uh, drinking water. I do keep my drinking water separate from the water in the tanks. Uh, there's pretty good under cabinet storage and it does have a place for the trash, which I really like. That's kind of rare in an RV. There's also storage under the couches here. And I just keep juicer, miscellaneous coffee stuff. <laughs> a pillow. The other one under there is empty. So it has a nice big refrigerator. It's a three-way Dometic fridge. It holds tons of food. She can go out for a month. Here's the freezer. Up here, I keep my dog food. And down here is a little storage. I just keep a first aid kit down here. Let's see up here. This is a mess. These are, I love these cabinets, but they just are not really well designed. But I keep food up here. Some plates. and it's a mess. I just crammed everything in here because we just got here, but yeah. These are the drawers. Kind of keep silverware and everything in here. In here, keep a few bowls and cups and clean wrap. Down here is, I usually keep plastic bags down here. I don't have any right here. This is a convection microwave which of course would only work with a generator or if I was plugged in, but I do love the convection microwave. It's got a three burner stove top, vent and fan. It's got a cupboard up here, which has some onions and a few things. <laughs> this is a pull out pantry, which I do really like this pull out pantry. Can hold quite a, can hold a ton of stuff in here. Let's see, this is a privacy door. 
So if you have guests, you can really separate this area. Okay, this is, I just keep some clothes here. I keep a broom here. Um, I do um, kind of a simple composting where I use the toilet for number one and I use a bucket with compost material for number two. I have had very expensive composting toilets. I have also used the black tank in here. This makes me happy. It is the easiest thing to do. Does it smell in here, Carly? No. Nope. Never does. It's clean. It's easy to throw away. That probably cost me $10, that whole setup. Okay. This is a shower, and here's the bathroom. I like the door swings all the way out. Oh, it does. Yeah. And this is the bathroom. It's got lots of storage up here. Nice. Storage in here. Nice. Storage down here. And this one I took the handle off. Oh, I can't open it. I took the handle off because it jammed my leg and I didn't like it. Oh. Anyway, that opens up. It's pretty empty. Oh, this is the hot water. For hot water, you have um, gas or electric. So you can have hot water off grid. Let's see. Down here, this is a bedroom, obviously. Down here, if you want to open this cupboard down there, Carly, that is where I keep um, a 3000 watt pure sign inverter and really just to run my juicer and curling iron and my laptop and carly's really power hungry laptop down here i just keep a jacket stuffed in there it's a tiny cupboard this is my underwear and socks t-shirts bigger shirts pullovers and stuff pants are in that other cupboard this is a bed there's a tv here let me show you guys this thing because I love it. It's a very simple little thing, but it's in a little inverter that shows you how many uh, volts you've got. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Right? And it has On those. Amazon. Click the link below. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep it unplugged so it doesn't take any power. Up here, I keep sheets. There's a pillow up there. Usually keep extra blankets up there. There's space here too. Hat, gloves, and stuff. I've been on the road for two years. You kind of get to the point where you realize you don't need a lot of stuff. You are too minimalist. Okay. This is under the bed. And under the bed, on the front side, are the tools to hook up and unhook the trailer. And then in there are cushions from the couch. Way to go. Okay. And you could store more clothes. What is this thing here? That's one of the couch cushions. Oh, okay. Like, that's an odd way to shape a cushion yeah. for the end of the bed. <laughs> for the couch. That's it. I love the wraparound windows. They are um, private. People really can't see in very well. Nope. So, uh, you can really lay in bed with those windows open with neighbors all around and no one can see in. And then there's another privacy door here. So, it kind of creates a little Jack and Jill bathroom situation when you have guests. Awesome. Or if it's cold, you can really block off the back area. And these fans, um, yeah, this is a fantastic fan with the temperature sensor, rain sensor. It has LED lights throughout, which even lights up the cabinets here. It's very pretty lit up at night. It is. And it's very reflective because of the aluminum interior the airstream i had before this had the mouse fur and it is a world of difference because that airstream was the exact same size mm. and between the aluminum and the wraparound windows it's a completely different living experience um it has a dometic um uh, cooler air, cool. air conditioner air i never use it <laughs> dometic air conditioner and this is also a heat pump, so if you are plugged into a generator or you're plugged into shore power, uh, you can use a heat pump instead of using your gas furnace. Um, and it works pretty good up until you know, it gets into the 40s and then it really doesn't work that well because um, of how heat pumps are. But otherwise, yeah, 
So that's it. That is the tour of my airstream. I also love this skylight, which is dirty right now, but brings in a ton of light. Another fan. And these curtains have, oh, you've got the above yeah, lines. These, these you can block the light, which is nice. And then, of course, these come down. Awesome. It's well built. I love it. Toes well. Toes easily, actually. And about how much does it weigh? About 6,000 pounds. 6,000 pounds, and you tow it with your half ton Tundra? Yeah. And uh, what was the, the model of it? A Serenity? This is a 2011 25 foot Airstream Serenity front bedroom. The nice thing about getting a trailer that is truly 25 foot or less, which Airstreams are true to their length, or pretty close, uh, you can bring them into almost any national park. Anything longer than that, and you're pretty well, you can be out of luck. And you can be out of luck in just a lot of campgrounds in general. So the 25 foot fits just about anywhere. I've never really had a problem in a campground. That's awesome. And it, it tows real easily. Yep, tows really easily, holds up, you know, enough water to boondock for a couple weeks if you're sparing with your water. And you've got to set up to be off-grid and dry camping. Yeah, this is fully set up for dry camping. And it's also been lifted by the previous owner, so it's a few inches higher above the ground just for a little bit better clearance on those dirt roads. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for giving me the tour, Erin. I love your Airstream. Thank you, Curious Carly. We'll catch you later.